Hello, I'm Simulator Dirk, and welcome back to Tram Sim Vienna. On the last episode, we downloaded the public beta for the new version of Tram Sim Vienna with lots of AI trams, which was fantastic. Uh, let's go into our settings and show you something interesting. Now, the maximum tram quantity was set at five. You can actually adjust that so you can see more trams. And set it to max, let's see what happens. We'll save it. We'll save those changes. We'll create a new game. We'll head towards uh, Prado Haptoli, maybe. Now there's various entry points and they've actually added a couple of entry points that you can elect to start at rather than at the start. Let's start at Noel Gassy this time and uh, we'll take Flexity 318 for something different. So let's do that. Tram Sim Vienna with Tram Sim Munich coming soon. Let's see what happens this time with our tram density. As another way of looking at it, our tram density being at the max. So we may see more trams. Will that be problematic? We're not sure. I was doing some reading straight after the recording of the last episode on the Tram Sim Discord. And that's where I learned about upping the tram density. And you can also adjust the pedestrian and the car density. Uh, we are just short of Noel Gassi, which is where we were having issues last time. Let's look outside. We're heading to Prada Hap to leave. We've got another tram behind us already. All right, let's get in. One thing that they've... Um, got rid of, which is good, is that sometimes when you started, the tram was already moving. Alright, now at this intersection, we have to be careful now and we had to be careful before too, is that the route heading towards the, or the track heading towards the right takes us to the depot and also takes us on Route 6. And so if the points are set that way, and you take the signal, you're not going to Prada Hap to leave, you're going towards the depot on Route 6. So we're just waiting to see. Okay, so we can go. Now we can't go, we're stuck. Now it's indicating that we can go to the right. Now we have to stop. And there's another tram in the opposite direction. Uh, let me see, what is he? He's heading straight ahead to Stefan, which is what we wanted to do on the last episode at the end there, but we couldn't. So we just have to wait for the lights to change. And there's a number, number six ahead of us. So now 
that we have to be cautious is number six heading outbound. Matzleinsdorfer Platz. Umsteig zu 618. In Richtung Burggasse, Stadthalle, 62. In Richtung Leitz, 14a. Badener Bahn nach Baden. going to risk it if my tram will also fit as well. I don't think so. So I'm going to wait for him to move off. This is the thing that we really haven't had to worry about so far. He's moving off so we can continue now. This just adds a level of complexity that wasn't there. So he's turned left, which is what Route 6 apparently does. Oops. Okay, that's interesting. Here's another con possible conversion point. Before, it's been pretty much standard that we just go left and we don't have to wait for anything to um, cross in front of us. Now, with all these extra trains, you do have to be careful here.
Yeah, that wasn't a very good stop. Good timing. Let's go. Go now, watch out pedestrians. Just when you thought the pedestrians had improved. Meyerhofgasse. Although they do do that in real life, so. register as a stop it was that bad. That's a ten. I 
I want to time this well, and I think I have. So I can go straight across the road without needing to stop. Platz. Umsteigen zu U4, 4A. The yellow dot's quite a long way away. So you could be close to the um, underground station there. So most of the tram's actually off the um, little raised platform there. Alright, we can go now. Steigen zu U1, U4, D, 2, 71, 2A, 59A. Now I've never seen a tram come across me here from right to left. Now we have to wait. What's this guy doing? Here he goes. Is that a... It's a Route 7. So there's even more... Um, there's even more routes than what they mentioned on the Discord so that was Route 7 so even though I did have the signal in other words it's not it's not track circuited so you still have to um, so you do have to watch out there. It's more of an indication, it's more of an interface with the traffic lights and the points rather than a block section like you'd find on a heavy rail system. So now we can go. So what have we got over here? So one. Burgring. Umsteigen zu 57A.
Sure. There we go. So we has a nine. All right, close the doors. Try and close the doors. There we go. I'm going to sneak through, be quick. Ring, Volkstheater. Umsteigen zu U3. 46, 49, 48A. Uh, where, am I, where am I doing? Hey, guy. So I've got another tram just immediately behind us. Yeah, that's a D. There has been some glitches noted. Oh, where's he going? Never said a tramp do that there. Parlament. Umsteigen zu zwei in Richtung Dornbach. All right, we'll lock the doors because we're about to go. Somehow got a nine, I don't know how. So on the screen, we can see Route 1, which is me, Route D, excuse me, Route D, and then Route 71. Uh, let's lock our doors, because we're about to go.
U2, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 1A. Good timing. There's a route D. another tram right behind us and it's a, um, it's a Route D. Can't go yet because we have the lights against us. He's a U2Z. Wait for the road. Should sure have it in a second. There we go. Let's go. Now, because we lost our slot. There was another tram with me inside, it's no longer with me inside. Börse. Umsteigen zu D. In Richtung Nussdorf. 40A. Going, cars are going, I'm going. So while we can't drive these extra routes yet, it's certainly good having them in there for the um, for the AI. It makes the driving it more challenging. have to make sure is that we take the signal when it indicates to go straight ahead which it does so that signal there means you can go ahead or to the left depending on how the points are set
in. Yeah, that wasn't very good. I don't know if it was worth it too, but it wasn't very good. Driver needs a quick drink. Here's where the U2Z turns around to the uh, left hand side there. Salzdorbrücke. Umsteigen zu 2A. Flughafenbus. Bitte seien Sie achtsam. Andere brauchen Ihren Sitzplatz vielleicht notwendiger. Connections to Airport Bus. to airport bus. I've never seen an airport bus but there's a connection for it apparently. Out of the whole route that is the most that the announcer says that I can understand in English. Right, we'll close the doors here. We're about to depart. Waiting for the road. Not sure what that random beep's about. isn't the actual platform, although you'd think it was. Oh, it's just on the other side. 
So we've caught up to an E2 in front of us, and there's a ULF on the left, an ultra low floor. sure where that one's going. Keeps on glitching out. So that's a Route 2. And we can go. going so that's all right so we can go to our normal our normal position So we'll just crawl up to the lights now. And what that does, any tram behind us, that gives them an opportunity to um, pull up nicely on the platform behind us. Let's go. That illustrates perfectly what can happen now. You really got to watch. You really got to watch what's going on. Now I'm actually a little bit past the um, signal there, but you actually got to see. So got to watch what's going on. I'd really have to. Um, I'd really have to look back at that to see if I did have the signal. That was definitely crisis averted. Certainly one that I had never seen a fan coming from that direction either. sudden tram in Vienna has just got that little bit more complicated because it's just not you on the route one anymore there's lots more going on
Hintere Zollamtstraße. Umsteigen zu O. In Richtung Raxstraße. set against us now, hold on. it also means you can't take for granted anymore that the route set in the correct direction for where you want to go so that increases your need for road knowledge or where you're going so I can see at the moment that the points are set for me to go to the right which is where I need to go that's what you have to continually ask myself where am I get what am I doing I'm on a I'm on a route one I need to go right here. The points are set to go right. I've got the proceed indication to go right. I've got the traffic light in my favour. You know, what are the cars doing? What are the pedestrians doing? Hetzgasse. Oh, that car just disappeared and that one decides to sneak in front of me. Wish I had a louder horn than that. Stop.
Brünngasse. Umsteigen zu 4A. People on the tram getting off, some getting on. Now, I haven't got the signal to go at the intersection, but I do want to move off, and that will give any tram behind me uh, room to access the platform. And then hopefully if I time it right, I won't have to stop at the intersection. You'd have to stop at the intersection. Sometimes you can time it perfectly, sometimes you can't. Mittelsbachstraße. Umsteigen zu. 80A Let's go. Final stop, Prada Haptori. Prada Hauptallee. Wir sind am Ziel. Auf Wiedersehen.
have arrived at Pradahaptali, the end of the line. And the first time that I've managed to go from end to end with the um, beta version. Hello, I am Simulator Deck and welcome back to Tram Sim Vienna. We're going for a nighttime drive, which is something we haven't done so far in the in the beta version of the new version of Tram Sim Vienna. We'll be going from we'll be going from Prada Haptali to Stefan Feninger Platz. And it'll be interesting to see the frequency and the types of trams that are out at in the 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. area. Now, it is winter. It is winter. And so we will move forward to our stop. Now, I've left the number of trams at maximum for the tram density. One thing I have done though, is that I've actually turned, and this is something you can actually do, you can turn the cars completely off and you can increase the amount of pedestrians. So when we get closer to the downtown sections, it'll be interesting to see what happens in relation to that. And I've also turned COVID mode on, so you know, face masks and whatnot. So, without cars in the way, oh, these yellow dots are so hard to see. So, it'll be interesting to see when we get a bit closer to town if there will actually be no cars on the road or no cars parked we're simulating a lockdown where cars have been banned from going out and only public transport is available so we'll see if we can notice a difference
Okay, we can see some cars parked. But we will see if we can see any cars actually driving. And that's going to make a massive difference to how we can operate. Um, no, we're not at Prada Hub to Lee. Wittelsbachstraße. Umsteigen zu 80A. So we're still going to follow the follow the rules in relation to traffic lights and everything like that. Does Hetzgasse. Uh, I think I've gone too far with the um, with the announcements. have a look outside briefly. Yeah, Lau and Gassi is where we are. Löwengasse. Umsteigen zu 4A. How different does it look with no cars driving around though? Okay, I've, I've moved now so I can actually see the light because it was lined up with the um, with the pillar there. It can be an eerie feeling when you've got no cars driving around, not many pedestrians. A lot of people around the world have experienced their own version of what I'm simulating now in 2020 and 2021. I haven't really spoken much about it. Quite a few cars still parked, even though there's no cars driving around. And I have increased the number. 
number of pedestrians. And I have also made it winter. So it's the 1st of October as I am recording this episode. So we're rapidly approaching the European winter and the Australian summer. Radetzkyplatz. Umsteigen zu O. In Richtung Bruno Marek Ali. Now I did say one thing at the end of the episode that as soon as I pressed stop on the recorder, um, I remember that I actually misspoke. I said that on the last episode was the first time that I'd actually gone end to end on the route since the start of the Transim Vienna Vita. Uh, however, that's not quite correct uh, because I actually did start a few stations down the line at Nolgassi. But the principle is still the same. I still made it to the end of the route at Pradahaptali. But I didn't start at Stefan Fadingerplatz. I actually started at Nolgassi. Listen to me with the name of all these Vienna places, um, Vienna stops that. So we're still going to have to watch out for pedestrians in our other trams. We can see another line coming into play on the right. Which is the thing we're going to have to watch out for now as we saw in the last couple of episodes. The little bits and pieces off the end of Route 1 or that flow in and out of Route 1 are no longer just there for decoration. They are now functional, at least in terms of um, computer-driven or AI trams. Intere Zollamtstraße. Umsteigen zu O in Richtung Raxstraße. So this is a curfew simulation. So we have to make sure that the points are set in the correct direction to go straight ahead here. go to the left. So that stopped. Then we should get the little A on the right to warn us that we can depart shortly. And then to go straight ahead. There's the little A on top. Lights have changed. All good. Let's go. Bye. A little bit 
si fra A Okay, the tram's going around to the right uh, from his point of view, left from my point of view. Alright, that is a Route 2. Interesting. section now we've got the height just there and because there's no cars around and because this is unusual um, I can lull you into a false sense of security Two in front of us. Friedrich Engels Platz. Now, have we gone the wrong way? I have a. F I get a feeling we have. Salztorbrücke. Umsteigen zu 2A. Flughafenbus. Bitte seien Sie achtsam. Andere brauchen Ihren Sitzplatz vielleicht notwendiger. Now let's see how far we can actually go. Connections to Airport Bus. Your attention customers, please disregard the announcement. We have been diverted onto a different track. Now let's see how far we can actually go here. good but it's not what we want. Uh oh. Uh oh this isn't good at all. We're gonna have to restart I think. Yes I do want to go back to the main menu. And then what we'll do 
or create a new game, we'll go from, we'll head towards Stefan, we'll enter, we'll enter at Swedenplatz, we'll make it the daytime so that's a little bit easier to see. And just for a change, we'll use the Ultra Low 4. And let's go. Tram Sim Vienna with Tram Sim Munich coming soonish. I'll be keeping Tram Sim Vienna and Tram Sim Munich on the same on the same channel and on the same feed and on the same playlist so we went the wrong way and that's exactly what can happen so obviously we couldn't get very far once we went off the um, once we, went, once we went off Route 1, however, having said that, there are some areas where you can indeed loop around. And that wasn't one of them. So I haven't changed the car settings. So I want to see what this looks like in the daytime with no cars driving around. And the area that we're in will be a good one. Um, that's not the time that I set. I want to go from Prada Hapzoi to Stefan. Okay, that will do to the um to the tram depot. That will do. So, um, let's make it a route one. Let's do that. There we go. Um, all right. What's going on here? Rather have to leave, so I'm gonna have to adjust the ibis. Um, Swedenplatz is where we are now. Swedenplatz. Umsteigen zu U1, U4, 2, 2A. So we're at Route 1, but we're heading to the depot. Alright, let's go. So it's still winter. It's the middle of the day. And we haven't turned the cars back on. 
but we've still got our tram, Dan. Salztorbrücke. Umsteigen zu 2A. Flughafenbus. Bitte seien Sie achtsam. Andere brauchen Ihren Sitzplatz vielleicht notwendiger. Connections to Airport Bus. It certainly looks a lot different with no cars driving around, even in the daytime. That's better. Schottenring. Umsteigen zu U2, U4, 31, 3A. Steigen zu D in Richtung Nussdorf 40 A. So there's a Route 71 over there. Where 
this hour. Oh, that's not in a very good spot. All right, let's go. Now we can't go. on the ultra high of four. These streets look so different with no cars. And it has been really weird 2020-2021 to see streets like this that are usually very busy with not many cars on them. Schottentor. Umsteigen zu U2. 37. 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 1A. So the points are set to the left to favour us. We can have the 1, the U2Z, the 71 or the D at this stop. Needless to say, I am loving this update. And what this will probably do for tram sim is, and quite rightly, there's been people to say, oh, well, you know, there's not much to do, especially if you haven't purchased the uh, the Ultra Low 4 tram that I'm in now. Rathausplatz, Burgtheater. Um, and if you didn't purchase the depot as well, but some people might say, oh, well, there's not that really that much to do. You're just going up and down Route 1 all day. And the um, U2Z is basically a short version of the 1 anyway. But what this update has done, it's given you a bigger challenge for what you've been driving anyway and you've got other trams in the mix so there's a 71 we can't go anyway because the pedestrian crossing Steigen zu 2 in Richtung Dornbach. There's 
a Route 2 over there. Just passing in front of us. So that was a good thing that we couldn't go because we did have the tram passing in front of us. Uh, I think I see, yeah, the yellow dot up there. Let's lock the doors because we're about to go. And it's good to see also it is winter so people are wearing uh, winter appropriate clothing. Hello. You are wearing winter appropriate clothing. Because even though there are no cars in the road, we still have to account for pedestrians and pedestrian lights. And we've had a game crash. So a shorter episode of um, Simulated Irk Tram Sim Vienna. Until next time, I've been Simulated Irk. We unfortunately didn't make it to the depot, but we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.